How's it going folks? This is Wayne Ott, back with another lesson and an amazing song as always today. We've got Suede and Trash. Uh, I've had a lot of requests for Suede songs. This is the first Suede song that I've got round to doing. Uh, one of my personal favourites. Absolutely love Suede, you know, we're back in the day. Big uh, Britpop band, one of the, you know, the founding members of Britpop, you know, in the early 90s, if, if you want to look at it that way. But, um... This is one of my personal favourites, just a great, great pop song, it brings back a lot of good memories. Uh, not really easy to play, there's one or two bar chords in, so it is sort of a, you know, an intermediate song. Uh, but I always say, if you are just touching onto bar chords, this will be the ideal song. Uh, and also, it's tuned down a semitone as well, I'll talk about that obviously in the uh, song lesson in a minute. So without further ado... Let's get to it. Okay, so as I mentioned in the intro, uh, this song is actually tuned down a semitone. Um, I'm doing it in that key to keep it true to the song. If you wanted to, you could just play it in standard tuning. Uh, but a good tip for you, you can either use a tuner or I tend to use a capo. I'll put a capo on the first fret. I'll get my tuner and tune the guitar up in standard tuning with the capo on. Uh, when you then take the capo off, you find everything's gone down a semitone. Um, sometimes you have to give it a little tweak if your capo is a little bit loose and it's not quite, you know, gripping all the strings. But it is a good, easy and effective way to do it. Okay, so first of all we've got the intro, which also is the same chords running through the verse as well. So we're going to start on a C chord. That's going to go for two bars. We're going to go to an E minor. F major 7, then we go to a D, and then a G. Okay, so I'll just point a couple of things out there. The F major 7 that I tend to use, if you're familiar with my channel and watch a lot of my videos, um, so I always do an F major 7 with a C bass, and so if you take a regular F major 7, all you're going to do is move the 3rd finger to the 3rd fret on the A string, little pinky will go underneath 3rd fret on the D string. Okay, and the G that I'm using for this song will be the four finger G. Okay, so that around again. That also runs through the verse, so I'll just sing the verse through just so you can see how all that gels together. So you got the, the intro actually goes around twice. I'll just go once. Okay, so you can see how that goes around. That's going to be a verse. So the only other different section of the song that we need is the chorus. Uh, and this is where the bar chords come in. So your first chord's going to be a C. Then we're going to want a G minor. Okay, we're going to want an F chord. We go to an F minor. After that, there's this little turnaround chord and it's actually an A diminished chord, okay? An easy way that I tend to do that, I'll keep the bar on and I'll put my second finger, so that would go on the second fret on the G string and I'd just play the middle four strings, the A string down to the B string. Sounds really strange on its own, but when I play it through in a minute, you'll hear how that goes into the song. So then we go back to a C, uh, a G minor, then we do an F and then we finish the chorus off on an A flat. Okay, so I'm just going to sing that through so you can see how all that gels together. So we got with Trash, you and me, G minor, where the little on the breeze. F, then we go in F minor, lovers on the street. And that chord I was on about. Trash, me and you, G minor, it's in everything. And everything we A flat And we go back into the verse chord Which is a C, E minor, F major 7 And the D and the G Okay, So that goes around again There's another a couple of verses We've got a chorus uh, The guitar solo goes over the top of the verse chord So that's, you know, twice round with a C E minor 
three to seven. When you go to D, try. nice to finish it on a C chord. Uh, that chorus goes a little bit longer at the end. I think it goes around again with just sort of a bit of ablib singing. Uh, but that is basically the meat and potatoes of the song. Um, so that just leaves us with a strumming pattern. So what I tend to use most of the way through this will be a down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, on that G, it's nice to accent it to make it sound like the song with just downstroke. So, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, we'd also do that in the chorus on that A diminished chord. Okay. Uh, and that is pretty much all you're going to need. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. I hope you've all dug that. I uh, love a bit of suede. And uh, thanks to everyone who requested suede. This is the first suede song that I've done, as I said in the intro. Uh, big fan of suede back in the day. Uh, if you've got any other requests for, you know, not just suede songs, anything 50s to modern day, a lot of you know the drill now. So you can either comment in the post below or a good way to reach me these days is on social media. So I'm Wayne Arguitar on Facebook, Twitter, and now also Instagram. And that way, if you want to, you can send me a personal message over, you know, requesting a song. I do always try and reply to messages. I do always say, though, I do get quite a lot of requests, so I have to hemp hit them a little bit. Uh, but don't let that put you off. Please do keep your requests coming. That's what keeps this channel going. Uh, thanks for your continued support. Thanks everyone who subscribed and continues to do so. A uh, further way you could help me out is, you know, hitting that little notification bell that's somewhere down there, so you get notified every time I post a video up, which is quite frequent these days. Uh, I've got nothing better to do, so I'm going to keep the videos coming. Um, but, you know, another way is, I think word of mouth is a powerful thing, as I always say, so, you know, please share, like my videos, tell your friends, tell your work colleagues, point them in my direction, you know, I would really, really appreciate that. So that just leads me to say have a great morning, day, night, Whenever it is you're watching, and I'll catch you all for a lesson very soon. Take care.